Everyone has had the urge, at least sometime in their life, to want to punch someone in the face. Be it the annoying smug type of dude, or the blatant hypocrite, we've all dreamt of looking them dead in the eyes and launching a right hook smack into their face. <laughs> or at least I have. However, in recent years, there have been a surge in people I've just wanted to wallop, which, as you may have guessed by the title, are YouTubers. So today, we will be counting down my list of my personal top 10 most punchable YouTubers 2021 edition. And before you go bitching in the comment section about your favourite YouTuber being up here, just think to yourself, is the fuss really worth it? Huh? Is it really worth it? Go on. I dare you. I dare you. Haha, <laughs> see I knew you were a fucking pussy. But without further ado, let's hop straight into number 10. Bryce Hall. Now I know what you're thinking, why the hell is he so low on the list? And that's what I kept telling myself as well, but the other 9 dudes are just worse than him. Baby B-Tech Jake Paul has taken the YouTuber slash TikTok scene by storm, somehow making a living from the hatred of fans in a way only ever beaten by the next person on this list. But we'll get to them shortly. <laughs> this man baby with tiny T-Rex arms is, is the living embodiment of the wannabe high school bad boy. I honestly thought once I left school, I wouldn't have to deal with this type of insufferable loser anymore. But here I am complaining about it, mainly for the sole reason that his face is plastered everywhere on social media right now. And for what? Please, can someone explain to me what this guy brings to humanity? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, how has no one ever shanked him yet is beyond me. So, yeah, as you can't tell, I'd like to punch Bryce Hall straight in the face. But there is nine other people I'd like to punch more than him. Number nine, Jake Apoll. It wouldn't be right for me to not include Bryce Hall Senpai on this list. The man he looks up to most in the world and is so obviously trying to be like, this utter cunt rose to fame alongside his brother, who, just let's be honest, was also a prick at first. But Logan has started to uh, start to act mature and is honestly a, mo a lot more likable now. <sighs> Unfortunately, the same cannot be said about Jake. If I were to ask you which YouTuber was the biggest piece of human garbage, then I have no doubt Jake fucking Paul would be top of your list. For some reason, this man has the ego of a seven foot Kanye West, and I truly think he believes in his heart that he is the messiah we all have been waiting for. Someone honestly really needs to take him down a peg, and I'm not saying I could be that person. <laughs> Definitely not. Have you seen me? Fucking twiggy arms. But I would just love to just give him one solid punch in the face, wouldn't you? I'm pretty sure anyone would. Moving on to number eight, David Dobrik. You're probably thinking to yourself, why is the king of vlogging on this list? I <laughs> I honestly have no clue either. I've never watched a single bit of his content. Like, never, honest to God. I just think he has an extremely punchable face, don't you? Don't you? Like, looking at him, he is one of the most punchable people I have ever seen. He somehow looks 12 and 30 at the same time. And I don't know why, but something about him just doesn't sit right with me. So... Yeah, I, pr I probably just want to punch him, like, straight in the face. And he might be the nicest guy I've ever met, but just one punch straight to the face and I think I'd be happy. Number seven, k k k, -k killer Keenstar. I, I honestly don't know what more to say. If, you if you've ever watched this man's content, you should know why he's on this list. Number six slash five. In this position, we have two individuals who have soared in popularity over the last year. I am talking about Dream and Tommy in it. Okay, so we may not know who the fuck Dream actually is, and Tommy may only be 17, like recently turned 17 as well, but hear me out. I was a huge fan of the older Minecraft gamers when I was younger, watching people like the Yogscast, Captain Sparkles and KYR Speedy, who weren't just all about screaming and fucking forced jokes like the Minecraft YouTubers of today. The children who honestly watch these guys, honestly, I feel like need to be tested for autism. And I don't say that lightly, because how they watch these guys for more than five minutes without having a seizure is beyond me. Because, oh my god, it is insufferable. Have you heard Tommy in its laugh? Oh my god, he sounds like a cat being strangled to death. For some reason, 
I, I feel like they just lowered the standard of what Minecraft used to be. And I don't say that lightly as well. I feel like they made Minecraft way more immature and, and nothing like it used to be. Like, back in Minecraft's prime, it used to be so much more than just... Ah! But enough said. I think I would happily slap the mask off Dream and make Tommy in it. Stop laughing some more. Please, leave your hate in the comment section down below. Now, number four. This one, I feel like, is a very fair number four placement. Morgs. Now, if you're American and you're watching this, then, yeah, you might not have heard of Morgs. But he is another YouTuber on this list younger than me. Not much younger. Like, he's 18. I'm, no, he's 19. Sorry, he's 19 and I'm 20. But <laughs> I hate to admit it. I used to watch a couple of this dude's videos. I know, it's honestly blasphemous. But over the years, this guy has not aged well. He's just become way, way, way more cringy. And some part of me just wants to hit him. Just like purely based on the fact that I used to enjoy his content. Plus, now he is basically just trying to copy Mr. Beast. But like, just adding a little like lazy fucking twist to his content. It's just... Oh. But on the topic of Mr. Beast, we're coming in at number three with Carl Jacobs. There is something about this guy that just grinds my gears. I'm jealous of like where he is, 100%. Don't get me wrong, I will happily admit that. He has one of the best jobs in the world and I just think anyone would be jealous of him, literally. His job is, oh my days, it's top tier. And I think that's just one of the reasons why I just like him more. Because I feel like he just looked his way into the easiest possible life and somehow made Mr. Beast's content worse in doing so. Like back in the day, Mr. Beast was one of my favorite YouTubers in his prime. Like a couple years ago, like a year, a couple of years ago with Chan the Chris and the Viking, who's gone now, all together. Like I loved the, th the four of them together back, back in the day, back in the day, a few years ago. But ever since Carl joined, I just can't help but feel like his content has become a, a lot less appealing. Like, he may be a wonderful dude, honestly. I have no idea because I've never met him, but out of pure jealousy alone, he's going third on my list. I would punch him and then take his spot, even though they probably wouldn't have me. They, I'm, I'm saying this, they definitely wouldn't have me, but I'd happily punch Carl in the face, I think, just for that. Now, number two coming in, we have Jesus Christ himself, the Liquid Lord, Moist Critical, a.k.a. Penguin Zio. One of my all-time favorite youtubers now this entry is mainly honestly for the clickbait because who'd want to punch this man honestly he is a king a chad a god among men literally uh, I, I just want to put him on this list because i'd also want to see if it's physically possible to hit the son of god for all i know my arm would be literally blown off at the mere thought of striking this man his white shirt would probably repel a nuclear warhead let alone my fist but for science, I have to see it if it is physically possible to hit this man. Finally, number one. Drum roll, please. It's me! Holy fucking shit. I bet you didn't believe this. I'm a YouTuber. I may have less than 1,000 subscribers. But that does not make a difference. Even though I don't have a community chat yet on my channel. This is one of the reasons I'm a fucking shit YouTuber. Miss five... Five fucking days of uploading, and I've got a fucking look at this. Look at this fucking sunburn, man. I don't get sunburn, and I fucking did. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm really disappointed in myself. I've. I've been really busy, and I've missed five days of uploading. I'm really upset. So I feel like I deserve to be the number one spot. <laughs> so yes, I will be punching myself in the face. Three, two, one. <sighs> this may be classed as self harm, but. <sighs> You may not be able to hear the sound, but I've fallen just whacked myself in the jaw. <sighs> Fuck. I swear, I'm fine. I'm mentally stable. But yes, this concludes the list of the top 10 most punchable YouTubers 2021 edition. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about which YouTuber out of this list you would be most likely to punch. Or, 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 another YouTuber that I, did, that I didn't include on the list and make your case for them in the comment section down below, which not many of you are going to do because not many people are going to watch this video. But, if that's not enough to convince you to subscribe, it helps my sunburn go away and it hurts and I've never had a proper sunburn before. Please, subscribing. The red subscribe button like, absorbs the redness of the sunburn and makes it go away. Thank you.
Bye-bye! Sign out of wherever you are in the world.